We all need to take a dose of that, don't mm -hmm. we? Let's turn back to Chief Meteorologist Paul Barris. Well, the uh, bus is waiting to roll up to the bus stop, Paul. What are we going to be looking at in the morning? Maybe last day for a while. <laughs> yeah, Some of these right. schools, the way yeah. things are looking now. Uh, but at the bus stop, if you're going to school tomorrow, there could be some showers. Temperatures should be about 61 or so, 64, at about 3 o'clock into the afternoon. And I think most of the rain will be over by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're looking at the radar right now. Got a cluster of showers and a few thunderstorms that are moving right into the Cagle Mountain area, maybe just north of Colmont. Uh, south of McMinnville, heading towards Bledsoe County too. A little bit of thunder and lightning. Could have some pea-sized hail and some gusts maybe up to 30 miles an hour with some of these storms, but they're not severe in nature. And there's a cluster of storms moving over Sand Mountain and the Lookout Mountain in Alabama that's heading right towards southern Dade County, Walker County, Chattooga County also. So we're going to see some rain overnight, and Future Scan is showing that in the next hour the stuff will be moving right into Hamilton County. So don't be surprised if you hear a little bit of rumbling in uh, just the uh, next few hours or so. There's a lot more rain out there, but uh, the severe weather's off to the north and well off to the west, and some of this is starting to weaken as it moves our way. But again, we could have some gusty winds with some of this, but we're not expecting severe weather as of right now. 69 currently in the city and 70 in Cleveland. That's really warm for this time of year. 66 Dalton, 63 in Murphy, and winds are out of the southeast at 9. Our high was 72, 58 the overnight low, just Almost a tenth of an inch of rain at the airport. Not much rain south of the city. Only about a couple tenths in Dalton, three tenths in Chatsworth, everywhere else south of the city, a tenth of an inch or less. Then we had about four tenths in Cleveland today, while Lakeside had about two tenths of an inch, and most places a tenth or less. And then Dayton about three tenths. Uh, Jasper had four tenths out into the plateau and some of the Squatchy Valley a couple tenths and into the Blue Ridge a couple tenths of an inch of rain fell too. So around four o'clock in the morning scattered showers and a few thunderstorms still throughout the overnight. By seven o'clock the showers should start to taper off in Hamilton and Bradley County but south of the city still some rain and then by noon it's pretty much over with and maybe a sprinkle or two lots of clouds. A wind shift to the north and some cooler air tries to move in. Now Saturday morning another round of showers will move in then it breaks away for the afternoon, could get some breaks in the cloud cover, and by Saturday night and right into Sunday morning, another round of showers will move in. So we're thinking most of this rain, the heaviest stuff, is probably going to be coming up into Friday and Saturday. We're thinking about two-thirds of an inch to maybe three-quarters. But some places north of the city could see over an inch of rain over the next uh, couple of days. So tonight, 60 with storms moving in, already moving in, and showers. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, cloudy with some morning showers, and it should be ending with northerly winds, but still lots of clouds out there. Tomorrow night, cloudy and cooler with 47 and a northerly wind. And we're going to skip that, and we'll look at the seven-day forecast at 60 coming up on uh, Saturday and Sunday with a real good chance for some rain, but it's not going to be all day. just going to be showery at times. Timing is a little difficult on that. Monday looks dry. Yes, dry. Tuesday, wet. Wednesday dry, and then Thursday wet again. <laughs> We're getting into a pattern. Yeah, yes. we see that. On again, off again. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Okay.